Chapter 15. Chapter 15, Burger King foot letter. The last thing you want in your Burger King burger is somebody's foot fungus. But it turns out that might be what you get. Ten years ago, a man named Cecil took a little girl named Lynn hostage and then was killed by a meteor fragment. I think this is a part where I said, Mass, this character you should voice. Tonight, a man named Cecil met a detective named Lynn at a junkyard on the edge of town and then was killed by a bullet. Is this an evil twin? Thanks, Xbox. This, this is cool. Junko Enoshima. But see, I find way from me the other end of the phone line. Like, don't do like, step the fuck back. I'll fucking blow her head off. <laughs> you like the phone nail. Feel like a final nail in the coffin of my lost memory. What the fuck? Well, <laughs> I see myself. You have a doppelganger thing going on, man. <laughs> Is that your homunculus? Oh shit! There you. There you are, Commander Sith. Finally. Oh, fuck. This is in here. Uh, uh, the, 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 uh, the skipper. Uh, uh what is. Skipper, voice this character for now. Okay, okay. So where have you been, my good man? We've been looking everywhere for you. God damn, I would have voiced him with glee. Such a everywhere funny looking guy. A little unfinished business to take care of. Didn't think it'd take this long. What about your people? Nature went out of the way to mess me up. I say, I believe we fulfilled every one of your conditions in our little deal. What right do you have to complain about anything outside our bargain? We can talk about that when, I, when we get back together. This will be our last communication by telephone. We'll arrive in one hour. I look forward to seeing you, Sizzle. Better have my it's gonna be a dawn is approaching. The darkness surrounding my own mystery is deep. But I know it's always darkest before the dawn. Darkness imprisoning me. All that I see, absolute horror. Oh hey, my character I haven't seen all game. Um. <laughs> yes, we're near. Uh, maybe slump for you voicing. Hey, slump for you. L unless, unless you want to keep voicing them. I'm fine. All right. Mm, yes, we're nearing the final stages of our little deal, my good man. Yes, sir. All preparations are complete, sir. And with this heavy record, lights have been spotted, sir. They now. By all means, let me have a look. Fucking submarine. Hmm, yes, we're very close. So you are looking at my tits. Mm, yes, very fine. Don't worry, I'm certified. <laughs> no, we, we will not disconnect from the communication cable. We have no service. We have no service until we arrive, sir. Very well. Great. 
grape. Mm, these grapes are fucking delicious. Oh my god. <laughs> if only they weren't the size of tennis balls. Meanwhile in Barotrauma. Meanwhile, yeah, basically. Oh, my back has been walking around all day. Let's try Inspector Cabanella. Oh! But you could never stop me. He's, dev he's devilish. See ya, sucker. Smell ya later. My evil twin is a dick. So... That submarine guy and his people had a deal going with me, do they? If that's the case, they probably aren't the ones who killed me. Right? Anyway, there's definitely something behind the inspector's death. Are you not gonna comment what you just fucking saw? I think I better talk to him. Don't hell. worry about it. Oh, wait. I have to talk to myself now. Huh? Hey, do you think you could wake up for me? Oh boy, still unconscious, huh? I guess he hasn't been dead for very long then. I'll just go ahead and go back to four minutes before four his minutes. death. I'm a little nervous about what I might see here, there though. But if that's where I'm gonna find my answers, I can't run away from it. Once the criminal gets the punishment he deserves, the hostages will go free. Carry out the execution immediately and wait for our call. That's a good boy. Gee, a hostage sure is a handy thing. <laughs> It gives me complete control over top, the top police inspector in the country. Yeah. What's the matter? Those, those broken bones smart a bit? What's it like to feel pain? It's to make you feel alive. Why? You doing this? Now, is that any kind of question for a top inspector to ask? Isn't it obvious? Revenge, of course. Revenge on all the people who stole my life away ten years ago. Oh, so this ghost is using my body? Okay. Don't be ridiculous. It was a meteorite that stole your life. Or have you forgotten that? Wait, what? Wrong! I was murdered. By all of you! What the fuck? Stop fucking up my hand. I did jow. Chased me down and forced me into a corner. Even though I was innocent. Lynn, that girl who was right there where I was running. Lynn? She was just an innocent little girl playing in the park. If that brat hadn't been there, I never would have thought of taking a hostage. That's the most self-centered garbage I ever heard. Objection! Ah. Turnabout mode, hostage situation. Oh, fuck. And finally, you, Inspector Cabanella. It's me. If you hadn't done what you did, 
I never would have pointed a gun at that kid. Oh, that's what scar tissue feels like. I should probably do something about this burn, right? <laughs> I don't care. You were so proud of your spotless record. Reminds me of a dead attorney I know. And my case was the one blood on it, wasn't it? Only two people know the real truth. Me and Detective Jowd. Okay. I bet tonight's execution will be quite the relief to you, won't it? One of the people who knew about the stain on your record will disappear for good. Feel bad for that hangman that Steve guy, though. That real stand-up guy. That's why you didn't, you didn't help him escape from prison. Objection! Ah. That's the kind of guy you are. I got nothing to say to you. You never listen anyway. Whoa! Oh! Dude, that's my body you're shooting! He got! Ooh, that tickled. Now that inspector. Time to make a big red stain on your spotless white coat. I just realized their colors are inverted. Oh look, look! The lamp hit him! The lamp! Evil lamp! Evil, Evil lamp. lamp! This is another condition of my deal. <laughs> Hit the A button or I shoot you next. <laughs> Wipe everybody who knew about Tesvik. Ten seconds. Oh, ba ba ba. Revenge? What? What am I up to? None of this makes any sense! Hello, me. Meet the <laughs> real me. And my misfit way of life. Hey, man. Mind telling me what's going on? Inspector Caminella! He's awake. My head's spinning, baby. Am I to understand? That Cabanella character who just got shot is me? Uh, that's right. And you're supposed to be the scoundrel there who just shot me. I, uh, I guess so. Kiddo just strangles him. No way. Well, you couldn't be, could you? Huh? After all, the guy in the red suit just walked out the door, right? So, who are you? I guess I just have to face it. I'm not that Cecil guy. Who the not that guy. Who the fuck am I? I'm, I'm somebody who's searching for himself. Obviously, you're a random bystander. Literally. Wait, wait a minute. Remember that cat that got out of fucking Cecil's um, bag at the beginning when we saw Lynn shoot like me? You're the, you're the cat. Am I the cat? No, no, wait, wait. Oh my god. I swear no, god. That's that stupid. Yeah, that, Never. Yeah, that. Never. I mean, 
Like, it'd be really funny, cause fucking missile, like... It'd be really funny. It just might work. It's stupid, but it's it might work. It's just crazy enough to work. Yeah. That's why I'm here to save you. Let, listen, we only got three chapters. We, at the very least, you have the information about that guy in red. Information I need. So you came on a rescue mission now, did you? <clears throat> Nothing like the sound of that, baby. Because there's a very important life here somewhere. A lot valuable to this nation. Okay, so do your thing, baby. I did the same thing. So, are you a manipulator too? I have ghost tricks. What? Powers of the dead, yeah. But... I can't control living creatures. <laughs> That's right, bitch boy. Anywho, I think you better be very careful. That guy in red is a manipulator. Naturally, he knows about powers like yours. If he realizes you're here, things might get a little sticky. You're right, I better be careful. That's right, bitch, it's another fucking... Look at him. Stealth section. Is that something emanating from his body? Is it really the sign of having special powers of the dead? Oh, I'm sorry about that, I had Taco Bell. I'm just gonna do this, see what happens. What's going on? I never seen the ghost world like this. Oh man, Wamu. So you're here, are you? He sensed my presence. Ah! Hello, Nick. Ah! I noticed you. Stop me, do you? I don't know why you're wearing my face. No, you're wearing my face. <laughs> Funny. I'm the one who's still who's using these lungs. Not for much. I just sort of flap around in there, but like it, it has to be the cat. It has to be the fucking cat. That would be the but most funny shit. Might as well shit. give up. Except for no, that doesn't make sense. I don't know. I don't know. I'd, I I I'd have to think about it. Okay, let me put it to you like this. I don't know who the ghost is, but this is very clearly the guy from the hostage situation. Yeah. Yeah. The a, yeah. But we're thinking that, like, the ghost, the, like, we're, the, the, pre the protagonist is the cat. That's what I'm thinking. This isn't stray. <laughs> In fact, your mind is straying real far from the truth. Maybe. Sorry. I'm just, I'm just trying to make sense of this. <laughs> I can see beyond your Xbox. Ah! <laughs> So, you like to play Call of Duty? No! It's only for Alucard! How much money did Alucard Lied. cost? Don't, don't let him lie to you. He was playing it the whole time before you got here. How much money did you spend on Alucard? $20. <laughs> I knew you liked it. But you might as well give up now. I control everything. Damn it! Everything, including the life of the police inspector and in white. Did he just rhyme? What? Wait! Don't shoot! 
Oof. <laughs> you have no power here. The other me knows the powers of the dead well. <laughs> Who wouldn't know what you just did? You were practically shunned. Look at me, baby. Looks like it might be hard to save you under these circumstances. <laughs> I guess I can't use my powers right in front of him like that. So, you like to play Dead by Daylight? Yeah. I bet you're a flight man. I mean everybody. are lined with books. This one on the top is balanced so precariously it's a wonder if it doesn't fall off. How did the old pigeon guy even reach up here? I wonder if he makes his pigeon fetch a clown. I have a ladder dipshit. I feel like I made a mistake. Objection! That was a real shocker, baby. Didn't he feel that he grilled his own fist to crispy perfection? I'm going to be eating it later. It's just not natural, is it? Hmm. It's kind of hard to move around here. Yeah, it's the same kind of power as you do, after all. If you do anything too obvious, he'll notice you. Hmm. Under these circumstances, I don't know if there's a way to save you. Ouch! Oh, I met that right in front of me, baby. What was that? Nothing. Look at this plate. Oh, God, what the fuck happened? Don't worry about it. I had a party. What in the world happened here? <clears throat> I think I'm starting to remember. Something bad happened here. And now, there's another death lying around in here. What? Another death? Didn't I tell you from the start? Didn't I say there was a very important life valuable to the nation here? What? I thought you were talking about you! <laughs> I'm just a crazy character in white coat, baby! Crazy? I was crazy once. Oh, that that one. The pigeon man. In a room, a rubber room, a rubber room with rats, and rats made me crazy. Crazy. The pigeon man! Crazy one. Hey, come to think of it, where's that old pigeon guy? Probably under the rubble. Under here, dipshit! Um, excuse me? Are you awake? Five more minutes. Of course! I never sleep during work hours. Professor, do you recognize me? There's only one crazy character in a white coat that I know of. Professor Newtonium. He hasn't lost his memory? I'm not the type who likes losing things. But never mind that. Gabinella, this is quite a surprising guest you brought with you. Pretending, pretending like he didn't just blow this place the fuck up! Are you 
talking about me? Well, Cecil, you look like Cecil. Wait, oh god, what am I gonna call you now? Oh, there's a different guy. And I'm his guest, actually. That he came to rescue us. Unlike you, my shop friend, he still hasn't gotten his memory back. Hmm. Pitiful. Ouch. That hurts. Anyway, now we'll be going back to four minutes before your death. In order to change your fate, that is. But aren't we already in the past, man? <clears throat> but we can't go back even further. I've done it before. I still don't see a path to save me Inspector Cabanella. But if we go back further, maybe I'll find a lead. Is that just like the last one? It's like you go back through like several people. Jesus Christ. <laughs> save the, the entire cast. How many times do I have to tell you, Professor? This place is dangerous. Don't be daft, I can't leave now. He's completely dead. But just as I thought, I'm getting a reading. This is the source of his powers. If I remove it, He's not dead! He's just not there! The true form to manipulate it is something you can detect! It's a spirit! Heh. <laughs> Ridiculous. <laughs> so you figured it all out, huh? Light stage middle. The Undertaker! By God, the Undertaker! You're a clever man, Inspector Kevinella. So, you're really true. You, you're. I wasted a lot of time tonight because of you, Inspector. I died ten years ago. This body is just a vessel. A shell. Oh wow. Uh so that really isn't my body, okay. <laughs> I control everything. The shell, people. Just like I controlled the justice minister in Wait. Lynn. Shot shot so that was him who shot uh, the, the Cecil we we're playing as. Oh my god. Oh my god. I suspected that. I suspected that she was possessed. Oh, it's true. You were manipulating my baby that time. You made her shoot your shell. But why? Why would you do a thing like that? To create conclusive evidence. You know, on that little security tape. Now she's a murderer too. She'll suffer just like Jow did. Now then, Professor. I'm afraid it's time for you to die. I don't have any grudge against you. I'm even grateful to you. Oh yeah? So why don't you let me live then? I'll be leaving this country forever tonight. But before I do, 
I need to erase all evidence that these powers of mine exist. <laughs> Along with the contraption in this room. This time, the thing will work the way it was meant to, and it'll all be over. Cupid won't turn this time. He'll shoot his little his little arrow this way. God damn, this motherfucker has a grudge. Oh fuck. Professor, look out! No shit. Well, that was fun. Literally. Dynamite, huh? What the devil did he put that there? He planned it all tonight. Having my baby shoot him, having his corpse disappear. His corpse disappeared? A medical examiner. Remember him? He was a complete and utter imposter. Well, yeah. Gee, you fucking think? He said he was going. Not to be racist, but the man's blue. <laughs> he said he was going to take the course back to the lab. We already made a deal with the manipulator to meet him, giving the body back. I'm blue, double D, double die. I wasn't going to let that happen, baby. Their plan, huh? I know it right away. The medical examiner didn't know the first thing about examining a body. I knew he was a fake, so I tracked him down and bought him off. <laughs> bought him off? I had him smuggled the corpse to this room. This room smells like death. I thought we could find the source of his powers. Well, never in my wildest genes that did I think his abilities were power of the dead. Anyway, there isn't much time. He's leaving the country before dawn. No, that's the time I disappear. I'm gonna follow him, of course, after I save you two. Something's been nagging at the back of my mind. Remember what Ray said to me tonight. He said that spirits cease to exist when the day break. Yeah, what the fuck? But if that's true, how could a spirit from ten years ago still be here? Did Ray fucking He lied. Yeah, did Ray fucking lie? <laughs> no that I'm was... telling you that was that the manipulator is Ray. No time to think in now, baby. Man, that's what I'm thinking. Actually, the name of the game. Evil lamp, evil lamp. <laughs> she played me like a damn fiddle. I love lamp. I love, <laughs> I love lamp. lamp. I love lamp. <laughs> Where can imagine taking us back even further into the past? Who the fuck keeps using a stand? Oh, well, it doesn't really matter. It's no use! I can't open it! Did the fact the professor is standing on it have anything to do with it? I may be small, but I'm pretty heavy set. He sounds so proud of that fact, too. The door. Yeah. The bit of the bad it doesn't open downward. That life can be so hard, wouldn't you agree, Professor? Yeah, that's why we're both dead! Hmm, the door that opened downward, huh? Alright, man, jump in there and stop that explosion, would you? Easy enough for you to say. 
foolish of you to say too. If you stop the explosion, they will just jump me in some other way. Fair enough. Then jump in there. Take care of that man in red, would you? I repeat, easy enough for you to say. Eh, most likely impossible to move. That huge explosion didn't even make a bad eye. Well, what do you propose then, Prof? Pray tell. Your best bet. Save me during the explosion without him noticing. Easy enough for you to say. Jeez, what with all these people? And a hoot, jump in there and do something. No pressure. Now I can hear your every talk. No pressure. You say right. What in the world is this thing? This device had that meteorite data entered into it. Oh my god, is this an alien? Is this an alien ghost? An alien ghost? If it detects tempsec radiation, it responds. It's like a shitty Geiger counter. Got that kid? Isn't it a lovely thing? I guess sometimes it's important not to think about things too much. Huh. What, what a sorry pair. Help me, Daft. <laughs> what do you think you're doing? I just saw I try it out. If you do, you're gonna set the contraption in motion! Oh, yeah? <laughs> just, just thought he blew me up, is what he thought. Oops, that was bad. That was my bad. There's not a whole lot of things I can use my tricks on in this room. Oh, Sissel, dear boy. Do my job for me. I'm lazy today. Get out the door! There's no use, I can't open it. His ass is too heavy too! Because the fact that the guy in red is standing on it have anything to do with it? Need more heavy stuff than he looks too? Why are you asking me? Like I said, I had a belly full of Taco Bell before all this. That's like corpse smell you're smelling. <laughs> it's a bit too bad that I opened that word. Sometimes life can be so hard when you agree, Professor. Yeah, that's why we're both dead. Hmm, I thought I opened that word, huh? I would move to the metric device. Actually, yeah, that's probably where you would, you would need to be because of the uh, thing about to activate. Oh, yeah. Now then, now Professor. I believe in this country forever tonight. But before I do, I need to erase all evidence that these powers of man exist. Along with the contraption in this room.
As you perhaps are already noticed, time is running out, baby! Yeah, no perhaps about it, I know. But you know, there's a whole lot of, there's a whole lot of things I could use my ghost trick in here. Looks like it's all over. Unless I find another yeah. path, I'm sort of out of deadlock here. See if you can get... Sizzle. Hey, wait, I know that voice. Wait, is this Ray? Wait, what? Who is this? No Help. idea. Help me. Help me? Wh where are you? Find me? Before I carry it away? <gasps> oh, wait, on the leaf! Before I'm carried away! Mm -hmm. Is it missile? Or would that frail sound a call for help? He's here somewhere! It's got e. a missile. A friend of yours? Yep, a little guy that looks a little fragile, but has yep, a drink that yep. surprised you. Yeah. Thank God, oh, missile. Thank him. God, missile. A dog! And before he's carried away, no less. I'm almost out of time. Should I look for him? Present. Once again. Once again, I had Canada. He was the Hellhound Gundam tamed. Why, why, why are you going there? The presence the other way. Uh oh, uh oh, uh oh, oh no. Oh, wait, 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 wait. What? Something above. I, th I thought I just saw something move up above. No, that's the ceiling fan. Never mind. Yeah, how do we. When the arrow <laughs> launches, try getting on admitted. I guess stop this toy from spinning. I can't halt the contraption. That won't really solve anything. There's a smart boy. Mm -hmm. If you stop the explosion, he'll just find another way to get me. <laughs> and probably get away the fact that you're here, too. I have to rescue you without stopping the explosion. Is that even possible? Well, it has to be. It's, that's what has to be done. Deal with it, bitch. When the arrow fires, see if you can get on it. I, I can. When it fires. Oh wow, that moves way too fast. Never mind. Hey, uh, hey, Doc, can you like? Skipper. Cecil! There he is again! Aww! Farewell! Farewell! Now I like you a little bow was carried away. Farewell! Where was he? Ah! Uh, Gundam saved me! No, seriously, where the fuck was he? I'm at I'm asking you guys, where the fuck was he? I don't know. <laughs> where the fuck was he, chat? Mass is dead. So I'm not... Oh, wait. Yeah, Mass is dead. Well, I think his mic's dead. Oh, there he goes. Oh, there he is. Hello? There you are. Hello? hello. Yeah, hi. Hello? Where is it? Where's the missile? Yeah, where's well, the missile? Have you checked your butthole? But up, but up, but hole. I have not seen the dog. I, I have no good. I have no good rhyme. I 
Of course, I'm not serious. I don't mean to imply he's up in big brown business. Maybe I should try finding him somehow. Maybe you should look around, you know, from corner to corner, baby. No, what? Maybe I should saw over. Aw, oh, come on, Sissel. We were just getting to the good part. You know, the part where everyone dies. Oh, you look down. I think we found where where missile is. Yeah. <laughs> I don't like how missile said farewell. That fucking broke me. Farewell. I, I fucking that. Oh my god. Hey, maybe you should be trying to figure out a way to get down there. I can't. I literally can't. Uh, I can't reach. When the, profe when, the, when the professor was backed up. No, I can't reach. I can't. I couldn't reach that either. Like when he's backed up, I didn't reach the tire. I was referring to the stuff on the other side of the room. Oh wait! Wait! I already tried that. Down. There you are. Got him. What? Why is the dog a leaf? Okay, you got, <laughs> he, you got carried he away got last trapped time. in a leaf. Yeah. Sizzle, here I am! Oh, hey, it's... Missile! What are you doing there? Do you really have to ask? Seriously, what are you really doing there? Uh, no, that's okay. Never mind. Anyway, I need your powers. Will you help me out? Of course! Here, let me come join you. Okay, here I am, Sissel. Now maybe things will flow in a new direction. Even though the flow of the sewer is a little bit stinky. It's a little bit stinky. Okay, let's stop that explosion! Oh no, we can't do that. Okay, let's take care of that man of red then! No, we can't do that either. We can't do this! We can't do that! What can we do? We let the explosion happen. Then we rescue the old pigeon guy without the man in red noticing. And your powers are the key to all of this, missile. I don't know about that, but I'll do my best. We're talking missile. about a matter of seconds. We can't miss our chance. Oh, oh boy, ladies and gentlemen, are you heart ready for a million retries? Oh no! More than the prison? So squeaky guys, I'm making a fuss about something. Sissel! Dog! My animal instinct are starting to start to- Dog! If you mean you want to chase them, I think you have to be alive to do that. Hmm. Must be some kind of rat beast in that trash can. I was saying, they usually, usually make a big, bigger commotion than that. Um, actually, they usually make a bigger commotion. A bigger commotion, huh?
Oh. Uh. Oh my god. Now that's why I got the proper commotion. Stupid though, I feel a bit like dancing myself. It's getting harder and harder to hold my wild instincts back! What a dangerous bunch. Holy shit. Look out! Ah. One second. Sorry, little pigeon. As for you, Inspector... Uh. I have a little job for you. I, I can't move. I think I'm for a broken bone. I don't mind. <laughs> it won't prevent me from manipulating you. I move you though. <laughs> Quite a bit, actually. Just damn you! Cartoonishly sadistic. Oh God! Pigeon got through the table. I can't believe it. You lot actually pulled it off. Sorry, Inspector Cavanella. I couldn't do anything to help you. And there I am. Poor broken Eva arm and leg. No matter. I enjoyed the show. The magic disappearing act, that is. Nothing like it, baby. Yeah, except... Unlike a normal magic trick, I'm the one who met that managed to vanish without a trace here. Beat averted. What's the matter? You look like you'd rather be dead. Not that you are. I would you ever remember the fact that right about now, the real me has given the poor Justin Minster a real fright. Oh, that phone call. Yeah, he was pretty upset. Um, excuse me, mister. You really shouldn't be mean like that. That dog talking to me. <laughs> What's this live little creature? God! Oh, the little dog is the warrior who keeps Camilla safe. Or God! He would be if he was actually still full alive. Camilla. God in heaven. A terrible thing. Poor little girl taken hostage. 
It's a cold twist of fate and need. Wait just a minute, Miss Kabila is a hostage. Yes. This sorry little warrior. Miss Kabila, a hostage! <laughs> What a hostage! Anyway, respect to Cabanella. It's time to save your life now. <laughs> well, you couldn't get very far when you tried to drop a boy, am I right? But this time it's different, right, Sissel? That's right. With us working together, it's a whole different situation. We'll save the inspector in white, and then we'll go rescue Camilla, okay? Okay, let's hurry up and get through this. Gee, kid, you're making me feel like an afterthought. Alright, let's get started. Inspector Caminella is upstairs. So our first step is to get up there. I'll go up first and wait for you. Oh, damn. Oh, shit. Okay, lovey dove. We need your help. Carry this measuring device upstairs. It has Mr. Ghost in it, so don't drop it. Drops it, it breaks into a million pieces. There you are, Sissel! There you are, Sissel! Sorry for the wait, Missile. Hey, that rhymes! Four minutes from now... Missile, Sissel, yeah. Four minutes from now, the inspector will be called by a gun. Wait, killed by a gun, not called. You just jump in there and stop it from firing, would you? <sighs> you go again with that stuff. Okay, I made it to a pinch, Sissel! Don't 
don't forget, when everyone to use my parents, just tap, tap our T. God, I can't wait for that new dredge skin. Wait a minute. Oh, did you see that? That bat sizzle turned around. Do you have to call him at that? Do you have to call him that? Yes. Yeah, maybe there's a chance to try some ghost tricks. This is the only time he takes his eyes off me, too. I have a bunch of worse names for him, too. So if he's bad sizzle, what do we call him? Bissle? <laughs> you didn't understand yes, that, you did you? To do. Do it now. You didn't understand that, did you? Nope. Had to take the first steps towards saving the inspector. I have a. <laughs> oh, 
Oh my god, that was way too close. Oh god. You think you can't spot the di no to spot the difference? No. He can only see things when they're moving. Well, he is wearing glasses. S sunglasses, Gla sunglasses. I can I can see perfect. You can see through sunglasses. He's not wearing a blindfold. Well, he's dead, so it might be different for dead people. Ah. Uh. Oh, would you look at that? Right at the hood! <laughs> I love Nethat. So warm and most of us. Thank dog! Thank dog! Thank dog! Much more vulgar name than that. That was another edition of my deal. Much more. What about everyone, buddy, who knew about Temsic? It's gonna shoot! It's too late! Again? I'm gonna get shot again? No, wait! Our chance is coming up! So that's the accessory, right? Listen to me! Bullet 
is hanging in midair between the gun and the inspector's forehead. He has a chance. He's in the bullet right now. Let's swap this little thing with something else. What? What? It's our only hope. There's gotta be something here with the same shape and direction as the bullet. Like this conveniently knitted hat. Not for nothing. And broken neck, he's dead. Not for nothing. I don't think he noticed. No, only nothing. Like you pulled off another magic disappearance act. <laughs> And now I say again, I love Nita. It's so warm and most of all soft. So how those guys doing? Right. Saves another life. And I keep doing it too. So where'd that bullet go? On the over and over. Red light, green light. Thank that clock, really cool. I saw it. That's so four. The verb say about eight, that's Four minutes. Gave me all the answers I've been looking for. Oh, I reach with these bad done years, pales in comparison, right, Professor? So you two are working together? That was about the start of the video. Who would believe a story about a manipulator? So we pursued So we pursued it ourselves, just the two of us. Quite a crazy, I'm quite a crazy character myself, after all. Okay, let's go back, back to our time. We have to rescue Mr. Camila! You're right, Missile. There's a certain guy out to follow, too. I have 50 fractured necks. I have 50 fractured bones in my neck right now. After completing his revenge on Inspector Cabanella, the man in red left, and now a new story is about to unfold in a new present. Why not girl in red? It, that's a guy. It's a it's a it's a singer reference. Character. I'm popular with the lesbians. Girl in red. Hey there, bro. bro live, I see. Yeah, nothing like it, baby. But I don't know if I get old or what. I got a few aches and pains here and there. Used to be a little thing like Shattered an collarbone. Used to be a little thing like an explosion. Wouldn't bother me. That's a gay man's girl. That's a gay man's girl. Gay man's girl. Girl, I forget. Yeah, right. Like, I've got to believe that. I can see the bone sticking out of your fucking neck, dude. <laughs> Ignore that. <laughs> it's really surprising considering that's a vertebrae. <laughs> I don't think I'm supposed to do that. How are you not paralyzed right now? You ever heard of Batgirl? That's why. <laughs> I 
Barbara Gordon becomes Oracle because she's paralyzed. But then she becomes Batgirl again when she went to treatment therapy. Her finger. Rain of spiders. <laughs> ah. So what? The guy who read his god, huh? Rain of spiders. Is that the game Okay, I post a special investigation unit all around the building. Rain of spiders. Rain of spiders. I just pray the boys come through for us. The boys? I can feel it. Buddy, buddy, but, 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 I still haven't finished watching this. The show, but you picked the bad time not to listen to me by the mind. You picked the wrong house, fool. Oh, uh, uh, CJ, I could have killed you, man. If I knew things were going to end up like this, I would have tried to die in that explosion, baby. That way, I would have been dead after Big Red by now. <laughs> die harder. I might be able to erase deaths, but it's true. I can't do much about injuries. But really, you shouldn't talk that way. Yeah, sorry, I suppose you're right. I just hate feeling so helpless. You was right there within my grasp. All of our plans were resting on tonight. And then, this had to happen. I guess he's thinking about his spotless record. Not too late, Inspector. We still have a chance. Maybe I could catch him. Say, you're right. It's not a bad idea. I'll cooperate with you fully. Go ahead and fire away with any question you like, Mr. Ghost. That guy mentioned revenge. Revenge against the people who stole their life away ten years ago. hostage and he wound up dead I can hear you he only has himself to blame what about when he said this I was murdered by all of you Jowd, forced me into a corner. Lynn, the girl who was playing in the park. And finally, you, Inspector Cabanella. If you hadn't done what you did, I never would have pointed a gun at that kid. I regret doing this. Yes, ten years ago on that day, the Special Investigation Unit would work on a certain big case. We all did a young man, an important witness to our investigation. And then I did it. I made two very stupid mistakes. Detective, I'm telling you, I, I don't know anything about it. Fine, fine. You're under no obligation to talk, of course. But if you don't, the special investigation unit can make the rest of your life a living hell. But I... I've just been assigned to a special investigation unit, you see. They didn't share much info on big cases with a newbie like me yet. I wanted to impress them. It was only supposed to be a simple matter of taking a statement. I was too green. I pushed him too hard. I drove him into a corner and made him lose all hope. That was my first mistake. 
And then I made another mistake on top of that. You kids talk about hope? Shut up. Hopium. This might be a random cop. Governor, got a minute? Chief wants to see you about your report. Got it, I'll be right there. You stay right here and be a good boy now. And he swags away. And that's when I did it. I left it behind in the interrogation room. My gun. You fucking moron. Bruh. Hey, wait a minute. Aren't interrogation tables supposed to have, like... Chains? Like, anchored handcuffs? Yeah. Well... Some do. Well, not when you're, like, being taken in for questioning. I guess. How could you? He used my gun to escape. What he said is true. If I hadn't made that mistake, he never would have had a gun to point at Lynn in the first place. We first found out about the manipulator that existed during a certain overseas communication. Overseas communication? The Blue Man Group? For national security purposes, the country keeps tabs on the communication network. This particular communication was about making a deal with a certain foreign country. He said he wanted them to buy him. Him and his powers. That's how we first heard about him. Of course, we didn't know what he looked like at the time. A sl very slight resemblance to Mac tonight. And in order to prove these powers of his, he gave them two predictions. He foresaw two completely pre preposterous, impossible cases. Both of them were in Jong and Ronpa. The case of a man who would sing National Seekers during a live rock concert broadcast. Oh. In the case of a man who would take the chief commissioner hostage in his own office. I wish I was the one who voiced that, that rock star guy. Mm, those two inmates at the special prison, huh? <sighs> because we're, it's a porn skipper. Shh. We kept tabs on their communication and launched an investigation. Then finally, we pinpointed where they were going to meet tonight. <coughs> Staked it out. The restaurant, the chicken kitchen. The manipulator plans on leaving this country tonight. On a submarine that belonged to the other country in this deal. S submarine? But we haven't been able to find out where it's going to surface. The Nocturnal Detective Agency. No! <laughs> it's terrifying to think what would happen if his power were to fall into their hands. that little girl as a hostage. Camilla. We have to stop him before he leaves the country. The spotless record of yours. Is it really that important to you? Of course, baby. In some ways, it's more important to me than my life. Than your life, huh? After all, it's because of my record. That I'm able to get my hands on all intel as head of the special investigation unit. And because of my position, I get to direct all aspects of the investigation to the manipulator case. The manipulator case? That's why you care about your record so much? Well, in hindsight, that's not a bad idea. 
Mars. Why else, baby? I just never could believe it, man. Jow shooting Alma? I didn't care they confessed. There was definitely something more to the store, some secret. I did everything I could to climb the ladder, everything in my power. And then I finally found the answer. It took five long years, though. The manipulator. He's going to prove that Jolly is innocent. What, in what incredible determination. <laughs> There's one thing I just don't understand. If you were so determined to help Detective Jowd, why didn't you help him escape from prison? That's an easy one, baby. Escaping from prison is a crime. I wasn't about to help him commit a crime after spending five years trying to prove him innocent. And he himself had to be executed, you know? As a man of the law, I had to make sure the execution was stopped legally. And that's why I brought him before the Justice Minister, too. I need to buy as much time as possibly could, baby. So that's it, huh? Fitz! Kings, everybody. Oh man, you missed a lot. I had, I had rehearsals, man. I had no choice. Aww. So, uh, fill me in. What happened? Okay, so um. Oh shit. Teal. Okay, um. Since this is not gonna be, I would say you should watch my video, but since you're here now, um. Uh, this body I'm in, that Sissel is in, might not be his real body. And... Ooh. Oh, man, I'm not gonna explain it, so, uh... Man, not who he seem. Yeah. Also, according to, uh, Nick's theory, man could be Cap. Yeah, man could be yeah. Cap. There's, there's only a guy <laughs> man possessing... Man could be Cat. Possessing. There's I'm someone possessing everyone. Reality. TV's Adam West, Catman. But yeah, um, this guy that we've been chasing is using the body that j this guy is basically the man from 10 years ago that Jal shot. And now he's getting his revenge on everybody. Yeah. Oh, I was I was right about that. May least. have possessed Lynn. Yeah. Well, oh. yeah. May I possess Lynn because his power, his ghost power is manipulating people. But there's one little. Yeah. But yeah, but that's all you missed. Oh, yeah. your power, your power is running fast. Well, mine is murdering people. <laughs> but there's one little unfortunate result of all of this, and we find out that Cabanella, well, he's a good guy, and he's been. The only reason why he has a spotless record is because so he could divert all his researches onto investigating this manipulator. Believe it or not, but the bad guy's actually a good guy, and the good guy's actually a bad guy. <laughs> believe, believe it or not, I'm a Ghostbuster. I'm an adult virgin. <laughs> <laughs> but there's one little unfortunate result of all of this. Lynn completely misunderstood your intentions. Ha! That's a little misunderstanding. Maybe we'll come around. Give it time. She's exactly actually working on destroying her career them. right now. Alright. Oh, hey. I can familiar. also see that he's I can also see that he's fucking dead. Oh he's not dead. He's just his bones are broken. Mr. Superintendent, do you mind if I talk to you for a minute? Mass. Nice. 
I'm coming. I'm coming. Give me that. I haven't always been a, a, a junkyard superintendent, you know. I used to be part of the police. Really? The police, huh? Not as a detective, but as a medical examiner. Investigate the victim's cause of death. Ten years ago, I was asked to autopsy a strange corpse. Hit by a meteor fragment and died instantly. That's what the police report said. There were no signs of life, but he was definitely dead. But I never filed an autopsy report. That's stupid. Oh, never That's mind. because the corpse suddenly vanished. I'm out of here. Yeah, yeah, you know what? Dying is gay. I'm gone. <laughs> Leaving behind only one clue. Fuck, you know what? Fuck the afterlife. I'm just going to be a hater for the rest of time. Usual corpse. I bet that's why. I, I bet that's why I've been chasing all night. Could you tell me more? Yeah, sure. Having an interest in you recovering your memory and finding your true identity too. That's the only way I can describe it, too. It was an unusual corpse. Weird dead guy. Bizarre body. Turns out there's actually a lot of synonyms here. <laughs> yeah. He was dead, all right. No question about that. But there wasn't a scratch on him. Not a scratch, but I thought he was hit by a meteor fragment. I don't understand it any more than you do. I was completely bewildered, but when I tried to autopsy him, I was even more puzzled. I couldn't perform the autopsy. You couldn't? What do you mean? The scalpel wouldn't, but I couldn't cut. As soon as I tried to make an incision, it would heal up the very next instant. And that's how it went. And no scarring or blood either. So we're dealing we're dealing with a fucking bioweapon here, got it. And it never had the chance to solve the mystery. It truly is Albert Wesker. That's because the corpse up had vanished on us. <laughs> the morgue is well guarded. No one could have stolen that body. <laughs> There is one way the corpse could have disappeared. What's that? <laughs> it fucking got up and left. It packed its bags and went to Bermuda. Dying is gay. I'm out of here. I was I was never dead to begin with. Lamau. It got up, opened the door, and walked out on its own. What? He sprouted the legs of one. But he wasn't dead. Both big surprise. Actually, very big surprise. We saw it with our own eyes tonight. Thanks, Xbox. I can't read my lines. 
Not even that explosion could kill him. <laughs> he didn't even feel it when he slammed his fist on that stove. Corpse left behind some data from some testing I did. I got some readings for some kind of radiation coming off that body. Radiation? I used all kinds of instruments, but I couldn't determine exactly what kind of radiation. Hey Wendy! It was. Hey Wendy. Hi Wendy. Some undiscovered type from a world unknown. Alien ghosts! Let's go! Wait a Let's go, alien ghost. Oh. Be? That's right. It was coming from that meteorite fragment. Then, um. <laughs> He's uncovering the symbiotes in this very park. I went to that park and tested the spot where the right meteorite fell. And just as I expected, I detected radiation coming from that crater. Also, it's a small miracle the body just didn't disintegrate on impact, apparently. It was the exact same pattern of radiation as that of the corpse. At the time, I thought it was some kind of immortal being. Turns out he's just an immoral being. He would but, die, um, only to come back to life. Oh, wait, 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 no. <laughs> All in death, so I quit my job as the police medical examiner. Several years later, I came to learn the connection between my research and the manipulator case. Thanks to the arrival of, that, of this crazy character here. Oh, stop now, Professor. You want to see me blush? Oh yeah, by the way, Fitz, I, uh, I got a la card now. Wait, what? I got a la card now. Worth <laughs> Oh, I hope you have fun with that. Any Giri would be a great skin, I'm gonna be honest. It was about a year ago, I'd say. This man of white came dancing into my research lab here. <laughs> I heard that there was an oddball here who's researching Temsic. Is that you, baby? Who are you <coughs> to be calling anybody an oddball? I was investigating the manipulator case then. And then I heard there was a man who'd quit the police for forced to study the meteorite. When I heard that, it was like a meteorite had struck me on the head. <clears throat> At the time, we were just starting to get leads on this manipulator. We didn't know who he was yet. But we knew he was communicating with a certain foreign country. God, I want... In one of those communications, we heard the manipulator say this. The source of my power is not of this world. And that's when I put two and two together, baby. The manipulator case and Temsic were somehow connected.
which also explained how five years ago he used his powers to manipulate a birthday surprise a little girl made for her mother. God damn, he's a fucking hater. Yup. He added that gun to the contraption, most likely by controlling Camilla. So that contraption in the basement here, you built that to try and help Detective Jowd? That's right. Jared and I worked together back when we when I was with the force. They used the reports of his case to try and recreate the device. But there was just one part of it. I couldn't reproduce, no matter how hard I tried. Camilla told Jared did something he should have. Made an impossible move. I added that part to the device I recreated. I put the part that would allow Cupid to rotate, otherwise the gun wouldn't fire. So you mean to tell me Lin walked in there and... <laughs> okay. So that must mean somebody manipulated Camilla Contraption. As a result, we proved to ourselves that the manipulator actually existed. Oh, speak of the devil, Lynn! Hey, baby. I'm never gonna get over that, I swear. <laughs> Sorry about the phone call. This sounded like a real villain. Yeah, we all thought you were a villain. I hated to spoil your image of me. That cool cat inspector you always looked up to? Is that really the image you had of him? I'm gonna I'm gonna get the hunting horn again. Oh, it's me. Inspector Cabanella, I'm sorry. I just heard. <laughs> you were chasing after that man all this time to try and help Detective Jowd. This manipulator is such a dangerous character. I was hoping you didn't have to be involved. So that's why you had me arrested tonight, isn't it? Like I always say, if somebody's in the way, throw them in the slammer. Bro, what? Bro, nice. <laughs> Tonight. I really thought we finally had him. You're going up against a man that can manipulate people. A ghost, in fact. You really thought you could have had him? My body gave out on me right at the critical moment. It's like a cruel joke. Oh, hey, Jow. <laughs> <laughs> ah! Like, Jow jump scare. Damn, everyone's here. Smash trailer. Dick. 
The underpaid <laughs> waitress. The underpaid chicken kitchen waitress. I'll take over while supper. DVD land. Ah, uh, what? You busy? Who's gonna be here no. next? The chicken kitchen waitress? Because guess who's here? But a joke is a joke. You might as well laugh. Yes, it is me, your favorite character. I am back. Get out! What a creature. So what are we? Some turn, some type of nocturnal detective agency? What are we? Some kind of <laughs> suicide squad. <laughs> A minister called off the execution order. And while he was at it, he let Detective Jowd go free until tomorrow morning, too. Because, you know, he can just do that. Well, yeah. He actually can. You know what? I don't think these, this, these crimes that they say this man committed was real. Let him go. Well, they, he didn't say let him go. He's out of jail till morning. That's a pretty extreme while he was at it. Funnies. Sorry I took so long to get here. You can leave the rest to me. There you go again. You've always been like that. What is this? Always been like what? What do you mean? Make everyone else win around, and then you swoop in at the last second. Five years ago, I stole your trench coat. Here, hold it back. It stinks. It smells like vinegar. Why would you get? Why would you keep it? Why wouldn't you? Good question. You never know when a man would want his want his thing back. Turn yourself in. Huh. I promise to give it back to you one day. Yeah. Oh my god! This superhero shit. I love how he just still Cody keeps the different. prison outfit <laughs> on this whole time. What is the, the jumpsuit? He has. 
He has the fucking Cody jumpsuit. What he, the he, fuck? He kept, he kept the prison. No, 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 no. It's Detective Gumshoe. That's Gumshoe. No, no, it's, no, a, no it's, it's a piece so long, Detective Jowd. He's kind of giving a little Detective Gumshoe a little bit. Waiting for this day to come. That, yeah, the man that made Ghost Chick is the same man that made Ace Attorney. It's also owned by Capcom. Yeah. So, uh... The, so, funny, uh, thank, the funny ghost trick will not be in the next model. It's literally the game. exact same jumpsuit. I'm not insane. Thanks for not giving up on me, Lin. I am not insane. You cannot convince okay. me. Okay, <laughs> I'm off then. I'm just wondering why he kept the, the, the prison jumpsuit on on top of... The jumpsuit and, the uh, jump shoot and coat combo. Like, bro, bro. That is Cody's jumpsuit. I do not care. <laughs> Good luck, my old friend. Well, I'm off. Fuck you all. I'm going to go shoot a ghost. My gun's still... Oh, wait, no, this is a pocket watch. I thought my gun was still in here. All the Ghostbusters. Well, gonna go still, I'm going to go shoot a fucking ghost. He's going to go clean up the city with his bare hands. Are you going to are you going to sign up for the Ghostbusters? Bare fist brawler. They're they're specialized equipment. After he's done cleaning up the city with his hands, he's gonna run for no, mayor. Gonna call Luigi. Uh, oh right, Luigi. Luigi and his mansion. <laughs> oh. Dude, dude, this present you gave me, it's just what I needed. Thank you. your right ear because i'm only wearing one headphone set it blasts into my right ear mm. all right by the way fitz it's you uh problem with that stream still loading still loading no I'll, I'll rejoin and see if it help, fixes anything. No, the stream's just down. The stream be down, it do. Wait, it ended? My end it did. Uh, Same here. City. I'm not watching the stream yet. I think fucking Pajama Sam. Oh god. Sorry, what's going up on the Pubuggus game to the Spy Fox superiority? 